Kasumi Matsui Greenway. to Southwest Marine Drive. On the map, uh, in the third round, you know, the, the geography that he needed to put his best foot forward um, and to use his skills um, to the utmost, you know, um, his physicality. He, he, he got that, he, um, he got to the mat in the third round. And by doing that, he made the fight close. Right now, I'm just uh, and, using as I said, more battery assist and one, then most level. Turn left onto Southwest Marine Drive. I put my seat up high, so I'm a hammock. And I, I don't think I'm my legs. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm jumping. Uh, the, I'm jumping a gun on this one to, to go to somebody so magnificent. But he reminded me a little bit of the great outer side. Who I really like, we like. He's been on 600 the meters, take the ramp on the left to airport. No show, but he's a special talent. He's a champion. He's a little way champion. But he reminds me a little bit of that. Out of sight, his striking and his ability oh. to defend him. Oh, Boy, I had to go across this though way. Santos was able to get something. He did. Don't and ever do that, able kids. He survived on the defender. And so he reminded me of that uh, by distracting his In 500 feet. meters, merge onto Arthur Line Bridge, Marine Drive Southwest. Yeah, so he shoots the right hand. Really, that's a hallway punch. The right side? Uh, shows you the cerebral is the sport. You got to be strong. You got to be tough. But you got to be smart to it. They separate themselves as well. And they stay around here and stay obviously successful. Right behind it, and uh, explosive, sensational, lights out. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good summation there. 
Next up, let's uh, let's touch on the McKenzie um, McKenzie Gonzalez fight. So that one, Terrence McKenzie, rear naked choke, He's first round submission over Eric another. Gonzalez. Hey. McKenzie comes in 13 and 4, moves to 13 and 4. Gonzalez drops to 13 and 7. There's one guy up there. He's on the right side, though. That was a right Got the bed from Tampa. I know you don't like Tampa anymore because uh, oh, you it. feel you yeah. feel like you got something stolen from you. Something. Yeah. Well, I mean. In 200 meters, turn right onto Airport Road. If we went from Boston to Tampa, you know that's a huge downgrade for uh, athletes and riders to have to go down to that. Uh, you know. Small I'm gonna I'm gonna say the guy. Oh well, we are uh, I look out for my friends. Hey, my what friends. the? <laughs> Hey, uh, Kamaru Usman's brothers in action. I'm sure that that's what the description Muhammad hey, Usman would love to shake. Everyone wants to be their own man. But he moves to 9-2 and two as a professional, scoring a second-round knockout via punches against Zach Poga, who drops to 6-1, and one, came in undefeated. But, um, man, these, uh, you know, I, I always tell the um, African fighters when they come on, Kamaru, um, uh, Francis Ngannou and Izzy Adesanya, the three-headed mm -hmm. monster from Africa. Mohamed Usman uh, doing his part to keep the African uh, champs coming strong. So he, he he gets the second round knockout. How'd you like Mohamed Usman? This is what I start with on that one. Give her. Can you hear me? Oh, hold up. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm at Olympic Village. I got to say something about Luke, who's so tough. That this is the price you pay. Sooner or later. Sooner or later. And it's no knock, I'm just pointing something out here. That's my job. 
where you depend just on toughness, just on physicality. Just turn left, then turn right. Turn your chin, and that's great. But if you depend just on that, that's only got so much on the shelf life. It really does. There's an expiration date on that thing. For everybody. For everybody. Everybody. One of my favorite fighters back in the 70s. Turn early. left onto Airport Road, then turn right. The 80s. You know, Danny, a uh, little... Turn right. Red Lopez, when he got knocked out by the great Salvador Sanchez. I love him. And I stare to there. Tough guy, but he didn't move his head enough. In 300 meters, turn left toward Russ Baker, way south. Got hit, but he overcame it. He overcame knockdowns, he overcame punches, he overcame everything. And then he caught you with his big punch to right hand. But not when he fought Salvador Sanchez. That was it. Because the guy was not just tough, he was smarter. He worked fast technically better. And that's the case with Neil and Luque. When, when you have a guy like Luque, who is making his bones, basically on just being tough, wearing guys out, out talking guys, again, I say it again, there's a shelf life on that. And it's just a matter- Turn left toward Russ Baker way south, then turn right onto Russ Baker way south. to a guy that that's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. And it wasn't Turn right onto Russ Baker way south. No. That's, that's, that's... In 200 meters, continue on to number two road. That's it. That's what happened. You got to oh, love yeah, Luke. I pick up this and, a little bit. But I, you know, that's, that's how you have to, that, that's the answer to what you're doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's why you see certain guys that, Light right. Well, as I said earlier, I want to see more of Jeff Neal. Yeah. Well, congrats to Jeff Neal. We'll keep an eye on him. He's definitely someone to look out for, and a um, great win over a great, uh, a great fighter in Luke. But uh, one of the other things I wanted to talk to you about, not necessarily from, that, uh, from this weekend's action, but on Dana White's Contender Series, um, Charlie Campbell and Chris Duncan. First round fireworks would be an understatement. So, you know, along the lines of the turn left, uh, the other seven. guy, the heavyweight who just lost, uh, Lewis, what's, what's his name? I like him. He, Derek Lewis, he, the black beast. Yeah, the, the power, but but he doesn't, you know, he's, he's not developed in I, certain areas. He hasn't learned uh, the things, kind of like way. Wilder in boxing, although he won a heavyweight. In 200 meters, turn right towards Cessna Drive. 
I don't make millions of dollars. Wada didn't learn a lot either, but he could punch with the right hand. He learned enough to, to land that. And, um, and of course, Lewis has had great success. He's got a great follow uh, in the UFC. He's exciting. He can punch. He's got that natural punching power. But he's raw. He hasn't, he hasn't really developed or learned all the things. I don't know if it's him or the people around him or competition, oh, whatever. Uh, that he oh, just wow, thinks cool, he don't uh, need to learn. He just depends on his power. Turn right for Cessna Drive, then turn left. Oh, what do I got to learn? Why? If we can hit a guy, they go away. <laughs> so, I don't know. But I believe that this guy, Usman, wants to learn. He is looking like he is learning. And that power, again, you don't see it too often. The one thing I want to add to it, uh, with the devastating knockout, was, thank God, Thank God this In 500 meters, turn left onto Cessna Drive. If we acted quick. Oh, wow, look at some nice guys. These club. guys the Pacific jump on Gateway Motel. They, they know how tough everyone is, and you got to keep going until the referee stops you. And the deck is was closed jumped on. He was already out. Um, his opponent uh, was, was uh, trying to... What was uh, his opponent? was Pat, uh, Polka. Polka. How do you pronounce it? I want to make sure I'm saying it right. Pega, right? Uh, yeah, I would call him Sa Zach Polga Pega. Yeah, P A U G A. All right, Polga, Polga. I just say Zach. Um, Zach. I, I'm, I'm being very safe. The Zach attack. And Zach. Yeah, it is Zach. Zach attack. Zach got Zach. Oh, wow, look at this but, um, but look, you guys are getting a treat here. They get in there, and women they get in there, and they're willing to face what they gotta face. But they gotta be protected because of the danger of their sport. And it's up to the referee in this case. Pretty low hanging and branches on this one sitting up pretty he high. He jumped in there. Zach Pagel was out. Out from that punch. He hits the campers out. And right behind him is this powerful, powerful Usman. To hit him with a hammer fist. He did catch him one. He was out. He didn't need to cap, but he don't know. Usman don't know. He's just doing what he got to do. And, you know, make sure the, the guy don't get up. Because it a and chest match on the ground. Oh, thank it God. Thank God the referee stopped the next one. Because who knows what would have happened. Is that Dan Mariano? No, no, no. It's you know, not over. He's got to eat about six or seven more. It reminds you got to make sure he's close to you. I'm going to give him every chance in the book to come right back. Place, in this case, the referee. That... Can act quick enough, oh, that are sharp enough, going. that are alert enough, that are. In 200 meters, turn left onto Russ Baker Way South. We're in position enough to be able to get in there the instant the guy's out. The instant the guy's out, gotta get in there. Just like when they submit them, and, and these guys don't submit. They, they refuse, like they like the fight well, a couple weeks ago uh, with Matt Schnell. With his opponent. Is it ever and then we have to Matt Schnell coming up on a, a turn left onto Russ Baker way south. An interview that people should really listen to. Right. They want to Spe look. Speaking of that, Teddy, for the for everyone listen, please hang, please stick around after this. We're gonna walk. Okay, this is called the West Dyke Trail. Let's see where this 
takes us to. Am I supposed to follow this one? Oh wow, it kind of reminds me of Alberta a little bit out on the outside of Edmonton. They have like a something similar like this. It's like a out in Edmonton. I can't remember. Me and my brother went there. Oh, look at that butterfly. Wow. Wow. Reminds me of Alberta. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Am I here? Oh no, I'm not even close, I don't think. Two minutes away, boys. So this is that part they're talking about. Okay. Let you guys have, have one quick look through here. Look at it. Got a swing thing. There's swings and stuff. I don't know. Something more over there even. Oh, there you go. Okay, I've just left the West Bank Trail. So now I'm, um, holy cow, there's a huge ship right around the corner here. Hello. Hikers, you know me, I'm biking out there. Okay, there's a little deep ship over there. You guys are in for a treat. This thing's massive, and you're gonna get like a. <laughs> you're gonna get a first time view of this bad boy. Can we go around? Can we go around? A lot of bugs been hitting my hands really hard. Nothing in the face yet, thank goodness. Look at all these bugs here. They look like they're all uh, stuck. They can't go anywhere. The water. <laughs> they're all beached or whatever the hell that's called. We got a big gander here. Way right behind you, look at that. There's no water, it's all gone. How are they gonna get out of there? The boats. Yeah. Holy shit. I didn't know it's going that fast. Look at this thing. Look at this Titanic style boat. Hey! Yo! I'm going fucking mud in the little fuck it's called. There we go. Yo! Oh, okay, well, actually, let's go over here. Let's see if I can get their attention. You can't see where this ball is, <laughs> can you? Off-roading again. 
try not to do that that much. That ship was massive. I won't lie. This house is pretty cool. You know, this was uh, Teresa's idea to come for me to come visit her. She said, this place looks awesome. But she told me to go to the uh oh, he's turning around. I think that should help them out. Coming up on the water. I wonder if stuff floats on the water. Plants them. Yes. Okay, it looks like we're going to be going around Richmond. I hope there's an exit. <laughs> I want to go out of here somehow. with a vehicle there's no exit. Fishing town here? What is this? Donor Gulf of Georgia Cannery. Huh. Wow, look at this cool place. What are we in? Yesteryear over here? What is this? Old school place. Can you get that door for me? Yeah. Oh, hi. How are you? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I was just wondering, uh, sorry, not to bother you. Uh, I was wondering, uh, is this like a fishing city or something over here? It is uh, or it was. It okay. originated as a yeah, yeah. salmon. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, but all the, this cannery was built in 1894. Oh, and there were many cannons yeah, yeah. fishing for salmon, oh, wow. but it's still a fishing community. Okay. Oh, I started at the end of Richmond there, and I've just been going around. I'm over okay. here now. Yeah, I, I don't know how much farther I can go over that you way. Can go, you can go all uh, the way back around. No, I came from that way. Where did like where did you start at? Terranova? Uh, yeah, Terranova the park. Well, yeah. yeah. Originally, I was looking for that place, and then I just kept okay, going. So you can continue on that okay. way. Okay. And you can actually continue on that way and then go all the way around. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And but actually, um. But I just seen this place, and then I was just like, wow, middle of nowhere, a little city, I thought. But You've never been around? No, I've around. never been around here. Oh, really? Well, there's kind so of. Much here. Yeah, yeah, I've seen yeah, lots. Yeah, <laughs> well, okay. And yeah, yeah. There's also lots of ice cream and stuff around here, maybe? Oh, yes. oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, there's definitely okay. ice cream shops around here, lots of coffee shops, yeah. snack shops, okay. and. Um, I don't, we don't have coffees here, but tourism yeah. in Richmond does they do, do um, like oh. bike path. Like, there's a oh, bike path. There's a bike path, path. okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know if their kiosk is open, but... Yeah, it's like over this way? Yeah, it's like down this way on... Okay, yeah, yeah. It's like a little container. Already? From, okay. From, uh, Glenn's Coffee. Yeah. Blend's Coffee, okay, perfect. Yeah, if okay. they're open, they'll have a lot of money. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you. Big, yeah. big help here. Oh, so I'm going to come back here one of these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Muslim gift shop, for sure. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a tourist destination. Yeah, yeah. Shop, so sorry, I just really making a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
we'll just take a quick gander at that. Okay, Gracie Baja, one of my bro's old uh, schools. Okay, it looks like it's for lease, but. Man, look at all these other businesses here. They're not going under yet. Probably pretty hard to uh, expense them. So am I able to follow some kind of bike trail here? Sockeye City Grill. Oh man, we got to down here and eat. G-Man Ramen. The Junior G-Man bitch. Oh wow, I've never been down here. This is pretty cool. Like, the guy, ooh, they even got a fresh slice down here. They even got a fresh slice. Look at that, a coco. Oh, it says coco are you. I can smell that fresh slice. The pizza. Getting me hungry. The blends. Oh, this is what they're talking about. They might have a bike map for me. Might have to grab it next time because living the Vega Blends coffee. Well this place right here. Oh they might have one for me. Oh hello I was wondering if you had a bike map. Yeah. Oh they're right here. Oh. Oh wow. It's huge. Oh, it's this one. This must be it right here. Okay. This is a regular map. Oh, okay. That this one one's like a. Uh, specifically for biking. Oh, wow. It shows the routes in which yeah, yeah. are like most bikes. Oh, safe. wow. Oh, okay. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Back here. You're a busy girl today. Wow, look at this. I got a cool bike map. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Let me get out of your way, sir. Yeah. Sorry about that. Enjoy your day. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now we are over here at the Fisheries and Oceans. Uh, I might have to walk the bike around here somewhere. What is this? Am I allowed to take it down over here? What is this? Cool. Okay. Whale watching? Whale watching tours. Where you go do your tours and stuff for whale watching. Oh man, we gotta come check this out too. Oh, there you go. That's pretty cool. We gotta come back here. This place is like a. I've never been here before. I can't believe it. over there. Ships are hard. Oh wow, look at all these new businesses that are going to be in here. You know, be next to the uh, Hi Captain. Oh wow. There's a race. They're having a uh, sailboat race. Wonder how far they go. Well, the red one's in first. Do they got to go around something? I wonder. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh he made a turn. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> oh wow, yeah. Cool. I'm seeing all kinds of cool things today. 
and he's got to spin around that corner. The pressure's on because he's on video, eh? I wonder. Oh wow, he made it around, now they're coming back. And there's like a... I'm kind of thin there. Well, we just watched a, a cool race anyway. They're all down there. Look at the sailboat. Oh, you wouldn't want to be going down that way.
playground. These don't look like a million dollar playground. After the Michael of oh, London. London, maybe the dog from uh, the Lilith Hobo. His name was London. There you go. Stevenson's channel. Little people fishing. Oh, oh wow, they can tell the water goes up and down quite a bit out here. Get more than 10 hits. 
<laughs> Leave your comments in the uh, comment section. <laughs> well, you never know, I might get more than 10 hits. journey here now it looks like you know when you've gone too far and you're like can't go like stuff like what's all this cutting dude cool little house as well that one is a lookout Jack would say. Characters. <laughs> Giving a shout out to my bros. Uh -huh. Michael. Everyone else. You know who you are. Caboose from the seat. See, I gotta change the seat on her.
too slow drainage pump station. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. And that's from dawn to dust. It ain't dust or dawn. <laughs> from dawn to dust. up one of my bars now of my five bars you know, I've been riding on passenger one I'll find out when I get home how far exactly I went Oh, <laughs> 